What's up, Patriots? Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, August 16th, 2022, the first official day of school. How was your summer? Mine was great. I did a lot this summer, such as a cruise to the Bahamas. Teachers and students, let's take a moment to discuss your summer. There are lots of new things to be excited about around our school. Let's check in with Destiny and Chanel for more info. Thank you, Neil. Great intro, by the way. Patriots, you may not notice it, but there are a ton of new improvements that have been added to our school. Just check out the new bathroom floors. Patriots, let's try to keep these floors clean. The red, white, and blue stands for Patriot Pride. Patriots, as you may know, lunch now has new procedures. Lunches will no longer be individual, sealed, or put in portions. They'll be open and will be cooked from now on. Students will have accounts through My School Books where parents can put money for lunch. Breakfast and lunch is no longer free. Does anybody know what two times three is? It's six. Good job. I'll be giving you a point on Kickboard. Kickboard is a new point system here at Rex Pines. Instead of hero points, you'll be getting scholar dollars that you can spend at the store. Wait, but what's the difference between hero and Kickboard? Well, Kickboard actually sends a note to your parents. So if I give a point to Hermoy for being cooperative, and I add being good, then the note will be sent to your parents. Not only has the inside of the school been renovated, but the outside has been too. Just look at this fresh new look. Patriots, there are a ton of new exciting improvements and we would like for you to enjoy them. Remember your past expectations to treat the school's environment respectfully. Now let's go back to Nia. Wow, those are some exciting new changes. Scholars, testing starts this week, so let's get ready to do our best. Teachers, take a look at the schedule to see when it's your time to test. Patriots, don't forget our cell phone policies. Make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpack at all times. Patriots, let's remember our past expectations. Here are your path expectations to represent. Present yourself positively, act kind to others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now but wait, what exactly are the path expectations? Well, I'm glad you asked. Path expectations are the rules of the school that are in place to keep you and your peers safe. They outline how you can act in a classroom and how you can be a perfect student. Path expectations represents present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now, let's break it down. Hey, Giovanni, that's not proper uniform. I'm gonna have to give you a violation. Oh wait, go for it! As you can see, Yosdani has on ripped jeans and ripped jeans are not allowed to be worn in school. Some more things that you should not be wearing in school would be short skirts or pants, no open shoulder shirts, and make sure there are no ribs or holes in your choice of clothing. And also make sure to never wear open toe shoes. Now, let's go on to the next. Today we will be watching a video on space travel. 
So basically, we have a so you can see here that the students aren't cooperating with the teacher. Listening when others are speaking is vital for understanding what the speaker is trying to tell you. And this class is being very disrespectful toward their teacher which sets a bad example of how you, as yourself, should act in a classroom environment. Hey, you shouldn't throw your trash on the ground. Your trash is for a reason. Why does it matter? We have custodians for a reason. Yeah, we have custodians, but you should at least respect them. As Chanel said, we should keep our school clean, and that means whenever you see a mess or even a little piece of trash on the floor, try to clean it up. Because as students, it's essential to work, learn, and be in a clean environment. It's not just the hallways that need to stay clean. It's also the cafeteria, bathrooms, and classrooms. Also, even if we have custodians, that doesn't mean it's not our responsibility to keep the school clean. See that everything is pretty much self-explanatory. It means that you'll try to put in a good effort in all the work that you do, and you'll see a good outcome. No matter if your outcome is not what you expected, if you tried your best, that's all that counts. So now you know, Bonnie. As we said before, the past expectations are the rules of the school that you should follow in order to be a good student, and not just your classroom, but in your whole school. Past expectations represent present yourself positively, act kind to others, treat the schools very respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new about past expectations. Well, that's it for today, Patriots. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. Have a good school day, and we'll see you tomorrow.